Hey everybody! Well, welcome back. Last episode we turned the page here in Football Manager 20 and we are back on the bottom rung of that ladder that we're trying to climb here in the Climbing the Ladder series. We have gotten hired at Eastbourne Borough and uh, we are underway. Boy, this team was completely, completely empty <laughs> when I took over. Not not 100%, but pretty bare bones. Uh, so we didn't have any staff. So, you know, we've been working on staff. And honestly, at this point, I have given everything over to my general manager, my director of football, uh, finding players, signing players, uh, the whole nine yards. I've given everything to them. And I do that a lot in the lower leagues, uh, you know, until I have a little bit of flexibility and wiggle room and the staff i don't know if you guys have this issue but the uh the staff i go out and i find guys that have you know eight nine ten ratings in in judging potential and ability and they won't even talk to you they say oh you're not you're not at a level i want and i'm like you suck you know <laughs> i'm offering you a job and you're unemployed um and I, i've had that problem forever so uh, anyway, everything is turned over to the uh, to the director of football. Uh, I do. I always give my training over to the assistant coach. Uh, so what we do have a small staff. So let's take a quick look at that. Uh, we have uh, me, and then I've, I hired Charlie Cole. I did hire him. Uh, so we've got uh, 13 determination, eight in man management, eights in judging ability and potential. And a 17 in working with youngsters. So I like that. He's, he's English and he's 24 years old. So I hired him as my assistant coach. And then over on the recruitment team, uh, we have hired uh, Jordan Evans to be our general manager. Uh, not the guy I wanted, but the, uh, the president hired him. So uh, fours and a three in negotiating. So yeah. But uh, anyway, we'll see how that works out. And then uh, Nikki Duke, our chief scout, he's got eights and then an 11 in adaptability. So I think that will be all right for this level uh, for us. Uh, if we take a look, you know, we need probably one or two, you know, one or two coaches. Uh, again, I've turned that over to the GM. Uh, we have the, we're doing okay in most of these categories but we do need a medical staff let's see um what else all right uh we get let's look at the schedule so we've won our four friendlies uh we've conceded one goal we've scored two goals in every match uh so let's see we had uh, a brace from phil marwood uh chris faulkner and joseph holland with goals uh, Joachim Holland and Cameron Sopel, and then Shane Kidd and Marcus Foyle. So a wide mixture. We've been kind of rotating the few players that we have. Speaking of players, uh, this is our current squad. And let's mark out the ones that are unavailable. What do we got? One, two, three. Yep. All right. So that was the three lone players. So... We basically have, we've got our roster and we've got two on the bench, basically. Um, that's it. <laughs> I, we do not have a deep squad at all. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. If I bring in my 18s, I don't have anybody. All right. Well, that's what we're dealing with. So... We'll take a look. Let's just look at a couple of players. So uh, Mark Turnbull is our goalkeeper. Four stars on the current roster. Yeah, he's not great. We actually just signed another a young 18-year-old keeper, and we're looking at another keeper as well. Uh, we are playing. Uh, this is a uh, Scott Seeden is a center back. He's six four. Good jumping reach. Decent heading for this level. Uh, marking ten, tackling eight. He's got some pace. Uh, 30 years old, so some veteran leadership on the back line there. Uh, we do have a couple of other, you know, really inexperienced guys that hopefully can develop. 
Uh, Dean Jones is a uh, right back. We're, tr we're trying to get him to play a little wing back. Uh, four and a half star, so he's possibly the best player on our team. Uh, but you can see uh, training ratings, not, not so good. Now, they are playing pretty well uh, in the last few games. 6-7, which is his worst game uh, for, in the goal. Now, he played a 6.1, but he was coming off of a 8.3 for Sopel. So, anyway, let's get to it today. We're going to be playing uh, Weymouth. And we may try to do two matches today. I don't know. I know we had talked about only doing one. Uh, still looking for feedback from you guys. Let me know in the comments. Do you like the one match? Do you prefer the two? And again, the only reason I'm even thinking about that is because when I look at the analytics, you guys are only watching between six and ten minutes of each episode. So I don't know if you're watching it the whole thing, but you're watching it in chunks uh, you know, you're breaking it up into two or three viewings. And if you're doing that, that's fine. But, you know, if you're only watching the first match and then dropping out, then maybe I should only do one match. So that's that's kind of what brought that to my, you know, to, to the forefront. Also, please hit that like button. If you like the video, hit the like button. That's how you support the channel. And, you know, the more likes, the more people that can potentially, see, you know, be exposed to the video. You know, I'm not going to compete with, you know, Lelugio. You know, I'm, I was, in fact, while I was playing the friendlies and, you know, going through the off season, I was watching his uh, Kings Town save. And he was like, hey, we're on episode five and we're getting 3000 likes every video. And I'm like, more power to you, dude. You know, I'd be happy to get 10 likes on a video. <laughs> so have never done that on a football manager video uh 10 likes so uh, that's that's kind of the the goal is to maybe get to 10 one day uh i need to get to 10 views on a regular basis uh before i worry about 10 likes though uh but anyway i do appreciate you guys dropping in checking out the video and again hitting that like button is is you know how you can support the channel the best way i appreciate it but let's get to some football today all right, we are playing Weymouth. We are picked to finish in relegation. Uh, let's see. We are slight underdogs on the road. Now, you can see our familiarity is not great. We are competent. So I've brought back that 3-3-2-2 from last season that we struggled immensely with. Uh, still awkward in this 442, and then I just brought this 442 in, so they've only had a week with that. So, uh, this is what I, I want to run this tactic this year, that's the one I want to push. And let's see, can I add you guys? Oh, I can only have five. Uh, and I don't know if these guys are even available. Mm. I'm going to take you out. There you go. And we'll take you out and then add you back in. There you go. All right, he is in there. Sweet. All right. Um, I'm not worried about all the red. You know, it is what it is. We just need, you know, I want them working on getting the... Okay, what the hell is that? Time out. Let's see what that is. Ret retrain a player to become a natural. Oh, sweet. We retrained somebody successfully. Uh, let's see. Hand over. Encourage the team. Sure. Kick off. It's good to have uh, my assistant manager back on the sidelines. That helps. All right. We are in the red. I hate red. I like the blue kits. I think we have a player. In, oh, good one with a nice first touch. Oh, flicked away by the keeper. Knocked it wide. All right. I'm liking that. We looked a little dangerous. Oh, let me check something on tactics. Um, yeah, we went to defensive width wide. That is uh, that is something that I wanted to change in this tactic from last year. Oh, God, don't do that, you dumbass. You let it go freaking out of bounds. Sibson? 
All right. Good clearance. Whoa, that was a rocket. All right, that sets up a goal kick. All right, let's tell them to get creative. They're inspired, except for that guy. He's apprehensive. Oh, my God. He actually wants me to touch the ball with my foot. Oh, dear God. All right, good one. Oh, from range. Not really a whole lot on that. All right, we've got a set piece. This could give us an opportunity. Lumped in the box, headed down. Oh, and Cohen puts it in the back of the net. A uh, little diving header. He went down low to get that one. Boy, he could have caught a boot to the face, huh? First goal of the season, and we are up 1-0. I do want to watch that again. Oh, yeah. Well, no, okay. I think he didn't hit it with his head. He That was one of those slide, slide moves. You know that new slide that they put into the match engine this year? Very good. Let's give him some praise. All right, Murphy. Oh, my God, he actually threw it to a teammate. Oh, taken down. Oh, good first touch by the keeper. Oh, good run by Dunn. Oh, good defense. Who was that? Oh, Seedon comes back and jumps in front of that ball, knocks it wide. Nice job by the defender. It's an interesting name, Sibson. Oh, he's out wide. Crossed in. Oh, Ken Rivers with a bullet. Oh, uh, he poses and then does a cartwheel. Damn. Some nice ball movement there for Weymouth. Uh-oh, this is a danger spot. Danger spot. Oh, Richard Thompson gets the easiest goal of his career. Oh, that was not good. Not good. All right. All right, there's some good ball movement. All right, switches to the opposite side to Murphy. Crossed in. Sopel. Oh, no. He shot it over the bar. Oh, come on. It dropped right in front of him. All right, so let's see. 10 to 9 on shots. 4 to 5 on target, so not as good. And we've got possession. So do we... I want to, I'm going to look at something here real quick. All right. Uh, disappointing. And you, we did have a guy named Kid. There was a guy on their team named Kid. I was freaking out. I don't know. All right. Let's, uh, let's get creative. Ooh, little bit of whippage on that ball. <laughs> 2-1. Damn it. All right. Um, so we're not playing super bad. I mean, we've, we've only got one guy with what I would call a, a really below average rating. Um, wing back. And I don't, I just don't have anybody else that can play there. <laughs> uh, mid left. You know what? Let's put Connor Leach in there. I really don't have I'm really light on defenders that's what we need to sign um, you know what let's put him in for Dean Jones basically on what I'm doing is I'm putting these central you know these midfielders back you know in the wing back okay that was a good save oh Cohen Cohen on a breakaway make it count Damn it. All right, let's push forward. All right, we need to make this one count. Turn it, turn it. Ah. Offsides, penalty. A penalty! Baker lines up. Oh, Jesus. 
first penalty of the season and it's saved that doesn't bode well lumped in come on guys Faulkner mid right attacking mid center so these are these are actually more attacking roles correct yeah let's give him a shot up there I mean some you know sometimes at this level you just got to play guys out of position you know oh great save by Turnbull Uh, we need to get that ball back. Come on, fellas. All right, that's good. Good ball up to Cohen. Get it, get it, get it. Nope. Sopel. Good control. Seeden on the overlap. Was he on sides? Crossed in. Oh, God, that was a beautiful pass. A missed penalty in that play right there. We should have won. We should have won. Didn't play badly. Didn't play badly. Only 6 of 19 on target. Could have been better. Could have been better. But you know what? We're at 19 minutes, so I'm only going to do the one episode because if I do a second one, uh, we're going to go well, you know, we're going to go over 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and play. A handful of games I'll come back somewhere around the middle of August that'll give us four more matches and naturally we're gonna want to play Dunstable on uh, on an episode this year so uh, we'll be back for that at some point we play them twice uh, oh I think we need to go play them at their place so the first time we'll go play them all right so we've lost our first match that's not the start I'd gotten off, wanted to get off to. Two to one, though. Moral victory after last year, maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I still think oh, Cohen scored. Nice, nice. All right, well, we need some more depth. We need some more bodies. Uh, we actually have a ton of room in the budget. Uh, we're only spending $7,500 a month. And we've got a payroll of twenty eight nine, so I'm looking at this where we're, we've we've got thirty eight thousand. So I'm thinking we've got about eight eight thousand dollars that we can safely spend and still make a profit without going upside down. Um, but anyway, we'll worry about that moving forward, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button for me if you don't mind. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys next episode, hopefully with a couple of wins under our belt. See ya. Bye.